Guys, we're live now. We are live. It happened. Let me make sure I do this right. Bam. There we go. Welcome back to week 21. With any luck, this will be the final week. It could be the final week. I hope it's the final week. Uh, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> so, we're going to go down. We're going to do introductions as normal. And uh, some people have new characters, so that's a thing. We're going to have to figure it out. And, uh... Uh-oh. That was wrong. There we go. That's correct. I think so. Yes, this looks correct. Alright. <clears throat> so... First off, announcement. Uh, this is going to be the first official announcement of APCon, run by me and sponsored by me, AP. That's going to be June 26th to 28th. Uh, and of course, that's in 2015 because this video could be viewed in the future. So don't get excited if it's 2016 or later. Um, or 14. We're going to have Pathfinder. You can't view it in the past, Dom. That's not how time works. Break the fourth dimension, sir. No. That's time is not the fourth dimension. Time is a different. They can, hey, they can download it and then go back. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Past. Okay, and spatial dimensions and time dimensions are on two different axes. Axis. That's not what YouTube taught me. No, that no. <laughs> Stop interrupting. <laughs> APCon, <laughs> June twenty sixth to twenty eighth. If you'd like to play some Pathfinder Society like this game, you can get that there. We're also going to have. Um, I'm going to try to set up non-Pathfinder Society games so you can try for regular Pathfinder or uh, any of the things you've seen on the show so far, like World Wide Wrestling RPG. There might and be some people is, running that there. And this is just online, or is this actual? It is online. Okay. More information will be forthcoming next week, but uh, yeah. Check it out. More stuff will be coming. Get yourselves hyped up. I know everybody's feeling the hype right now. The hype is real. Maybe they're just feeling the heat because it's fucking a million degrees out no matter where you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There are people That's... in, like, fucking Arctic, and they're like, they're like, it's so hot up here, man. Thank God. I, I had to wear a coat today. Shut up. No Damn no it, idea. Kai. <laughs> where the hell do you live? I, I live yeah. in Idaho. <laughs> a coat. Wow. He lives in Kodistan, apparently. All right, Dom. How are you doing this week? I'm doing awesome. My mom's feeling better. Excellent. I brought her medicine today. She's happy. Really glad to hear that. Her baby maker's gone, so that's good. And we bring my little brother for being the last one out because he didn't clean up behind himself, and he's sad because we do that. Okay. Um, you're playing the same character as always this week? Yep, this is the same character I do through all the stages, so Snacks is finally retiring. All right. Anash, how are you doing this week? Good, actually, really good. Uh, Court has gone on holiday for a month because of summer, which is awesome. So work is going to be really light. I'm getting my car this week. I just paid for it, like, last week. So I'm excited about that. Nice. And, of course you got yeah. a Honda. Sorry? I said, of course you got a Honda. No, I got a Hyundai. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not going to judge. <laughs> and yeah and let's see uh mother's day today almost yeah today for you guys yes yeah so my sister got the day off works so we're cooking my mom lunch and then we're taking her for a play probably hound of the basketballs should be good excellent yep wait did you say hound of the basketballs yeah the sherlock holmes yeah interesting i, I had no idea they play. did a play yeah someone i think has I shouldn't read up too much about who's doing it. It's supposed to have good reviews. So I don't know. Is it based on the play. new Sherlock Hounds or the old Sherlock Hounds? I think it's going to be the old one. Okay. I doubt it's the new one. I mean, the book was good, so hopefully. Well, I'm yeah, not saying the book wasn't good, but I'm just saying that the new Sherlock Holmes is better and edgier. <laughs> Let's see. I'll know once I watch it. I'll let you guys know next week. Excellent. Indeed. Nosh will be back as a Nosh the theater critic. <laughs> exactly what we needed. <laughs> All right. Let's see who's next on my list of people. Uh, Steven, how are you doing this week? 
I'm good. I'm glad we can play this week. <laughs> yeah, because if we didn't do it this week, it literally would never, ever happen again. No, you guys could play without me, so. <laughs> this, yeah, this is the final right here, guys. So you're still playing Erebus? Yes. Are you excited to... to know that your sword is finally going to stop talking now that it got home? No, it, I don't think it'll stop talking. Now it'll just keep talking about no, nonsense. No, your sword, your sword doesn't talk to you anymore. Now that you've finally gotten down to the the one place it wants to be, your sword's just like, eh. eh. It isn't as cool as I thought it would be. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, a little uh, less room in my head. All right. Yeah, with all that intellect, you, you need all the room you can get up there. <laughs> all those spells. Yes. Um, Eric, you are here. Yes, I am. That was oh so welcoming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I just saw that your name uh, still said Breck, and I was like, oh, it's gonna be Breck, and then I remembered, oh yeah, he's not Breck anymore. No, Breck has gone off on holiday with Gekido. Um, I hear they're having a fun time during the South Seas and all that. He threw it off into the sunset. Yeah. Who is this new person? Imagine. That who is the new challenger that has accepted? So, um, Subadai is a uh, kitsune um, amalgam of strange weirdness. He, uh, you could say, he's sort of a distant relative of Gek. Um, fights in a Similar manner, but he's got some stylistic differences. Um, so more broken, <laughs> basically. Actually, I was hoping I was planning on bringing in my uh, relatively non-broken um, character, but uh, unfortunate. Well, fortunately slash unfortunately, I managed to get into a Tomb of the Medusa game. And took it up, but that also leveled him out of the range. Well, all right then. I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't watched it yet, but I understand that there was some difficulties with your Reign of Winter game last night. You know, the one run by me. <laughs> yes, if you enjoy seeing uh, characters continually bite the dust, um, yet another one of mine. Um, died a horrible, painful death in the middle of the night. Um, so that was fun. Um, I, I thought so, yeah. So I'm on to character concept number six, I think. Now, I didn't realize it at the time, but someone sent me a mail saying, you know, that's the second time you've killed Dan's character. Because Dan I had no after responsibility you to bring your body point. back. At least in this case, there's no way it was my responsibility. Oh, no, no, that no it's your it. fault. All your fault. Stupid sexy. Oh, All your fault. All <laughs> your fault. Your fault. <laughs> wow, I love that the <laughs> players are chiming in here. Okay. Uh, Kurama, how are you doing this week? Though today was a relatively slow day. Later on, early on, I was actually went through my commencement ceremony. So, graduated from my bachelor. Oh, nice! Yeah, bachelor. And then the, today, I'm bringing in my venture captain, a Idolkin Azamar with the ancestry of a horse, but is wolf scarred and deaf. So you're speaking to an angel wolf horse thing. It's kind Bad of peculiar. Bad pig. Otherwise, it's a uh, a wind oracle, and or whatever for everything that oracles bring. Excellent. Pleasure to meet everybody. My name is Ryan Des. Hey, who wants to be animals for the next thirteen hours? <laughs> Wait a minute, my familiar's gone. No. <laughs> we have a new one. Oh wow! Yeah. He's into a yeah. little bird, right? Yes, he does. To swallow. You want to be something better than a bird? I can make you something better. Into a plane. 
No, just a better animal. I could turn like into dust. What? I any animal. Literally any animal in the entire book you can become. Eh, honestly, bird works really well for this guy. You could be a magical bird. Well, while you think on that, I'm gonna read some text. Uh, I don't fucking care if this one has spoilers in it, so... It could be a freaking flea. The Xeomorns are a primeval race of explorers and scientists from the plane of Earth. When Galarian was young, the Xeomorns used its crust as a matrix for experiments into the nature of life, carving great vaults from the depths of the world using seeds of crystal magic. The Amorans who could create and shape life and terrain with their minds were called the Vault Builders, while the lesser of their kind, charged with maintaining and protecting the experiments, were called Vault Keepers. Together, they created numerous vaults, giving each realm its own ecosystem. Some became deserts, and others mountain ranges, oceans, or vast caverns. The Zeomorans conducted long-term experiments exploring life and evolution. But they were not the first on Galarian to do so. Their expansions caused them to encounter the Aboleth Empire and the two races of similar mindsets yet clashing philosophies went to war. Eventually, the Zeomorns abandoned Galarian rather than fight to extinction. Now, as you remember from last time, you all had to jump down a enormous shaft that follows the Emerald Spire several thousand feet straight down. Let's see here. We might as well get all of the prep stuff out of the way since it seems you guys are prepping the prep stuff. Yeah. A quick question. Sounds like Rindus is casting Word of Recall, Magical Vestments, and Status. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not casting Word of Recall. That would serve no point right now. Right. You Word of Recall. Yeah. You have to cast it at the top, yeah. right? And you establish. Then... Well, you establish a location. Right. Beforehand. Yeah. So that's what you've done. You've cast the first part of it, and you haven't used the key phrase or whatever the free action is to bring yourself back. <laughs> Okay, people are just... Text is flowing all over the place with what people are casting, so... That's a thing. Hmm. Everyone good with all of your things? Oh, just... Arthur, is stone nah. skill PFS legal? Yeah, stone skin's PFS legal, as long as you've got the material component. Diamond there. dust. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yo, stone skin is PFS <clears throat> illegal. Everyone got all your prep spells done then? Yeah. On. And if we're Rubbish. jumping down some place where we actually have to uh, glide down, I figured I will... Snags just cast that spell that lets you fall slowly. Feather fall. I have a ring right. of it. Okay. Well, that works great for you. I was just hand waving it rather than bother with that shit. Yeah, you need to fall fourteen hundred feet. Mm. Well, just put an X in the chat when you're done casting spells, cause I'm having trouble getting affirmations out of you guys, and everyone seems to be casting their entire spell casting inventory. <laughs> uh, does I like to say I cast want... this every time we enter a dungeon. Yeah, I should a check. Does anyone want and a rod uh... of extend spell to make the third levels longer work? That's why I should I do. Them. Should I do that? Uh, air bubble. What is that spell on? I dab it. I think that life sounds bubble. like a wise life, life bubble. bubble out. Yeah. Oh, By the way, uh, if, it's, if it's if it's do that. Sorry. Okay. There was already a life bubble thrain. Oh, there was? Yeah. Okay, I don't dust it.
Obviously, Rain does. What you do is you drop a torch in front of you, and then you fall at the same time. As soon as the torch hits ground and stops moving, you cast Featherfall right then. <laughs> so you don't need to fall for, like, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds, right? I don't know. You fall at, like, what, 240 feet a second or something? Sure. I yeah. believe you fall at 60, which is weird. You only fall at 60 if you have Featherfall. Mm -hmm. Then I am incorrect. Okay, I think I'm done. I've got something more if I need to. This is going to be a thing, so I'm going to go ahead and just look up what terminal velocity is. 500. <clears throat> so terminal velocity on Earth. 195, 122 miles an hour. Hmm. So let's do feet per second rather than do any other math. Well, that didn't work. All right. I'm going to do some more math. Mathematical. Instead of opening my calculator, I opened my Steam. That's what I'm going to do. What level is Thrain? 13. Do you want the duration? No, I was looking it up and it seems that... Uh, well, 150 speed. feet a second, apparently. 158.4 or some bullshit, uh, I guess. Barkskin should be plus 4. Yeah, Barkskin's plus 4. Uh, oh no no! I'm sorry. At, at level twelve, it's plus five. No, yeah. oh, is it at level twelve? Is it level fifteen? It's plus five, I think. Do we reach the bottom without any issue? Yes. Oh, shit! It's plus All right. five. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. Unsettling green radiance shines from the immense five-branch crystal near the center of the cavern. The crystal's arms penetrate the stone walls of the cave to the north, east, and west. To the south, they form a natural bridge over a small chasm to a pinnacle of rock. At the heart of these branching arms, the emerald spire extends upward through the hole in the vaulted ceiling. A black stone door carved with an eye-shaped rune sits on the wall in the southwest. To the northeast, the cave is an uninterrupted wall of what appears to be an enormous stone sphere. So you land, there's two creatures standing right where you're landing, and there's another creature that's just sitting on the other side of that lava. Just like, what's up? The other creatures immediately begin attacking you as you land. <laughs> I was about to say hello. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Why am I in front? I call hacks. <laughs> <clears throat> We don't orient ourselves on our way down. None of us are diviners that know how it's going to be angled. Holy shit, big monkeys. Esther, you're up first. Alrighty, time to go beat some things up. Save me, Esther. I need you. You're the only hope. <laughs> and is Subadai tiny? Yes. All right, then I can move there if you Time to go beat some things up. Let's just clonk on it. That's going to fail. Probably that too. Yeah. Let's see here. The 20 hit flat footed. Nope. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thrain. Hmm. Train's gonna. Well, oh, I guess a they... background noise happening right now. Well, I suppose they've all landed and train. Who's this? Is this dude hostile to us? That's one of your party members. That's Rindus. Okay. I saw right. a werewolf token because she's Ooh, that half wolf, half horse man. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> so Thrain's gonna command Balcat to, uh, to charge this guy. He'll. Okay. I'm guessing he's not mounted. If he is, he'll quick dismount. Okay. Um, yeah, so Balcat will charge and full attack. Alright, when you charge, you provoke from this creature. Alright. <laughs> Can he acrobatics to avoid it? Yes. Okay. Where's Battlecat skills? A half elf in dual class generic ranger. Other half also elf. Twenty five. I don't think that beats it, but Uh nope. He's gonna take a bite out of crime. Get it? Take a bite. So it's minus four. So it's plus fourteen to hit Battle Cat. Um, 16 is not going to hit, I think. No. Okay. Aww. Uh, the 30 and the 28 hit. Is the grab on the claws or is it on the bite? Um, I don't know, actually. I'm assuming it's, uh... Should be claws. You should get two of them, in theory. No, I think, isn't like grab just another additional attack? Or no, it's, it, uh, no, it's on your it's claws. On, it's like on just a hit. to. Oh, it's on a hit? Yes. Then I think it's the bite. It logically should be the bite. It's actually the that's... claws. Is it? Yeah. And you yeah, should be getting well, two more. Get two grab attempts. Okay. And you should be getting two more attacks because you got raked when you pounce. Oh. Also true. Okay. Mm. Alright. I will rake. Did he pounce? Or was it, where was he to start? He charged. He was like over here near Thane, and Thane was like, oh. acrobatics off. Well, right check off. Oh, okay. was like, bell attack, Rake. sick. Rake is just two claw attacks, right? Yep. yep. But you also yeah, get so just redo the map, bro. Yeah, I'm just going to just do the claw, because I have a separate claw thing. Okay. Boom, and one more. Are you adding your plus two to that? Plus two? Oh, no, I haven't had plus two to anything. Shit. Okay, you land the grab, and it is now in a grapple with Battle Cat. You see snacks in the background. They're instructing battle cat on tactics. Uba die. <laughs> All right. So he is already in. Uh, and oh, three is going to attack man. Due to combat style master feat, he will swift action activate snake style, and he will move into the enemy square, provoking. He is also lunging. Let's see here. Oh, you're full attacking, Thrain? Yeah. Okay. Thrain's not going to attack. 21, 22, and 15. Um, so let's see if the lunge is based on a round or if it's based on attack. Okay, so you can do it whenever. So 